now time for Ask the Expert. School is right around the corner for some, which means it is time to stock up on backpacks, pencil, and other supplies. Yeah, instead of the boring back-to-school routine, why not use this as an opportunity to teach mm -hmm. kids a lesson in money management? And the guy that likes to do that all the time, financial professional Mike Williams with WealthWisconsin.com, is here to discuss how to shake things up and keep the cost down this year. I mean, you need these supplies, right? So you know when kids go back to school, but this is an opportunity to teach them about money? Yeah, the reality is it's expensive. And I'm sure most families watching this are going are to agree with us. It's expensive to school shop. Families last year on average spent about $630 on school supplies. Just a, This is not clothing? It may be clothing. Okay. Where do you get $630? I'm not sure. That's yeah. an extraordinary number. Mm -hmm. But we do have some tips. Okay. Right, get right do that into the tips, guys. So what, <laughs> what's the first tip you got for us? The first tip is is planning accordingly and doing it early. We all get into this group every single year. Okay. Man, where did the time go? What happened this summer? Mm -hmm. It just slips by. So the sooner we can start, the better. For a number of reasons, you don't want to get stuck in that pinch where you need something you forgot to get and you're paying mm -hmm. full price. And the sales start early. Oh, so you're, saying making, you're saying making a list and then actually start to shop earlier? Shop early. We hate to do it. you got to make time for right. it. But the earlier shop is when the sales are. It's a great tool for money management, how to make your dollars be more efficient and maximize it when that's so costly. This is always a good lesson to teach children needs versus wants. So those box of crayons last year mm -hmm. should be still pretty good this year, right? You would think so, yes. <laughs> that gets now a little we tricky. need a 64 pack. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what a parent, you need to write in that child where you have that list created and you can see what these needs are. You still need to get those mm -hmm. needs, but yet that backpack they want so bad, even though you bought them a brand new one last year, may really be just a want. So mm -hmm. prioritizing that, seeing how to make those dollars last is where that comes into play. Parents are still in control there. Yes, you said <laughs> hand over list. So you actually want the child to write the list down. Hand the list over to the child. Again, oh, okay. this is a little bit of a challenge for most parents, but a way to do this more efficiently is probably do it one on one with a child. Okay. Give them the list. When they touch it, they own it. But you're really learning about comparison shopping. Do you get that new Disney product or that generic product? Mm -hmm. See the difference in the price tag. See how you make those dollars last better. But you should be starting to correlate an actual value on that dollar that should be instilled for them. For many years to come. This final step, though, might be mind-boggling for folks because you're just trying to stay ahead of the game now. You're mm -hmm. saying plan for next year? Well, think about it. The list you're creating now, you want to save that and keep that. Right. At the end of it all, you're going to compare how did you do? Did you mm -hmm. stay in balance with what you wanted to spend? And you have something to go back to next year. It's a foundation to build on, again, to hopefully keep these principles uh, year after year. Okay. Well, these are, you know, important items that uh, every, and, you know, I remember the beginning of the school year. Didn't you like the new? Oh, yeah, the, the peachy new, folders. Right, the new folders or the new yeah. backpack. We didn't have backpacks as kids. Hey, you know, something did you have backpacks? Year. What did you have, Charles? Oh, we had to carry the books. <laughs> oh, with a strap, yeah. right? Potatoes in our pockets, <laughs> uphill both ways. You got that right. <laughs> and the snow five inches. <laughs> All right, I have a question for our experts. Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number's right there for you.